I just want you to think of this one very simple fact. You got Pakistan wrong, you got China wrong, you got US right, and we had a great foreign policy. So put that aside. I am not saying today, benefit of 2024, that, oh, let's look back at 1954 or 1950. I'm saying somebody in 1948, 49, 50, 51, 52, as you were taking those decisions, stood up and said, you know, please, Mr. Nehru, what you are doing, have you looked at this aspect of it? So these, this is not hindsight. These are Nehru's contemporaries who are questioning decisions which Nehru was taking at that point of time. So what are these decisions? I'll give you three. Uh, Shama Prasad Mukherjee actually contests very strongly the Nehru Liaquat Pact, saying, Look, you are assuming that Pakistan is going to treat its minorities the same way as we are treating our minorities. But the very nature of creation of Pakistan and the regime which has come into being is very different. So, how can you possibly make you know, such a fundamental misreading of these guys? And mind you, this is just three years after partition, Patel puts in writing that today for the first time we are facing a two-front situation. The intentions of China cannot be taken uh, in, a, in a positive way. You know, uh, there is much that we have to apprehend. So please do not, uh, you know, have a sort of uh, rosy picture of the situation. What is the answer from Nehru? You know, I cannot conceive that anybody would undertake a wild adventure across the Himalayas. By the way, that's exactly what they did in 1962. So, now, if Jay Shankar in 2024 says, oh, they got it wrong in 1954, your question is very, very valid. It's not Jay Shankar who's saying it. It's Patel saying it on China. It is Shama Prasad Mukherjee saying it on uh, Pakistan. It is B.R. Ambedkar who says, look, why are you alienating the Americans? If you are to argue, you want to take on the American, I have no problem with it. I just told you foreign policy uh, can be pushed back. At least fight your own cause. We were alienating the Americans on behalf of China. That we were taking up China's cause. And more than anything else, China, I mean, what an irony. That imagine in 1950s, we spoiled our relationship with America because we were arguing on behalf of China. So this is not... Uh, this is not hindsight, this is not a, you know, a political polemic. I am placing before, especially the younger generation, because they wouldn't be familiar with it. I am placing historical situations, which is what I called a road not taken. That road was available, that road was marked. Those people drew a map and said, don't go this way, go that way. And we consciously chose not to take those roads. Now, I'm not saying there were no brainers. I mean, there were pluses and minuses. But we need to get out of this, uh, you know, cult worship that everything from 1946 till pick your year, you know, these were great years and we did splendidly. If anything went wrong, other people were to blame. But, you know, um, uh, Nehru's foreign policy uh, is such a uh, sort of uh, impeccable theology that even today uh, whoever comes to power must follow it and any deviation is somewhere wrong. I think, you know, uh, companies are audited. After all, countries should also be audited, for policies should be audited. People should look at what happened in the past with an open mind, with a critical mind. And by the way, I'm not saying it should only happen then. I'd be very happy if somebody said, you know, I'd like to discuss the last 10 years with you.